I'll be back for you later. And they're talking, ah, 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 Saf, Saf, close, close. Right, now first things first, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, sort out your audio, mate. I've been on a budget lately, so I've got some, I've got a wireless mic on its way, which is hopefully gonna crank up the audio for my channel. I've just done a bit of a tie up lately. So, bit of a different topic for this one. So, I'm quite into my functional fitness, into weightlifting. Uh, not, not like bodybuilding, nothing ridiculous like that. I mean, I know I am the size I am, genetics, all that jazz. Um, I can put a bit of muscle, but I'm more um, hang around the lean space. So I'm more lean than anything. I have lost a bit of weight, so I've gone from 85 to 78 kilo over the last like, that's a year, um, and even more so from like 82 to 78 in the last like two months, which is not ideal. I have had some injuries in sports, so grade two in the old AC joint, as well as like upper back sprain. So now I'm just trying to bulk up as quickly as I can and get back to that 82. <laughs> to an 82 and 85 range, so they're just having a protein shake just to add some extra calories to my day. So I've had four meals, what's the time? 326. So I've had four meals already. This is like my fifth, so to speak. Oh, three meals technically, I mean. There's like tiny meals in between, I should say snacks, but this is my fourth meal, not fifth. So I'm having two scoops of this mass. I like this one. Well, it's, it's a good bang for your buck, so it's like 70 bucks for almost 5 kilo because it's on special. And it is uh, chocolate, so it's flavor for protein. I'm mean, also going to add creatine as well, which is great for retention, etc, etc. And growing the muscles. Um, so I've been, I've been under these magnesium dissolving tablets. I have one every morning. And actually low key, like gives me heaps of energy in the morning, especially at work. I'm not too sure if that's, um, I mean, it's nervous system muscle function. I haven't do too much research into magnesium. I know I do understand its benefits from a soft perspective. But anyway, so the reptiles keep me busy. And I don't know, like, I don't know why I've, yeah, the injuries don't help, but then also, man, it's just so hard to stay onto a meal sometimes, especially when you're trying to put on weight or stay active. But yes, first things first, mic is on its way. Second thing, trying to bulk up a little bit. Third thing, reptiles are doing great. Got a new addition, Savannah the blue tongue. And I'm on the journey to keep the rarest gecko in the world soon. Watch the space, stay tuned. So you know who else is on the bulk? Oh, Ferg. Ferg. Ferg, my Japanese father, and my little boy. And obviously the other one as well, but man, he loves, he cranks through Blood Wednesday. So I give him like a whole cube. He needs a whole cube to himself. It'll be two to three days. So frozen blood worms. All I do is I just put in some paper towels. Put it up, put it outside near the frozen over a couple of hours, especially in this heat. Defrost. So old Ferg's on a bit of a bulk meal, but um, I was looking for him underwater and I was like, where is he? And then I'm like, oh man, this guy's like trying to conquer the world. Look at him. You have no business being up there, mate. You want some bloodworms? Uh, see if I can lure him in. All right, let's see if he'll follow the bloodworms. Come on, mate. You hungry? He won't eat on land because he's aquatic now, basically, you know. They'll eat on land when they're juveniles or when they're in the EFT phase, but now he's just like, nah, man, I ain't in water. Oh, man. I might just have to need a, I might just have to put in the water. I can't wait for him to all night. He'll get to it. Let's just plump him on this leaf so that he can at least find them all together in a bunch. Here we go. So I've placed it very carefully on this leaf and he'll just basically come in, nibble at it when he's ready. Balkan, Balkan for summer. You know what I see people doing? Like all these, a lot of reptile YouTube creators, uh, content creators, they do this kind of stuff. Like put the animal here and then they're talking, ah, 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 saf, saf, claws, 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 ow. And then they're like in their video and they're talking and I'm like, man, why, like, why would you do this? I feel. Like I feel bad or I don't feel safe. You got the like bearded dragons or like some other dragon or some other skink or maybe the guana or something like that. But for me, I'm like, she, I mean, she's chilling. I could probably only do this with Sav uh, or a blue tongue because they're kind of like, they're so plump. They kind of just like fold out on your body. Kind of perfect, you see drooping over my shoulder. Plus some a little bit swole, had a little bit of pump, push-ups. Like I said, I'm on my bulk, bulk and journey. I'll put some more muscle on journey. I'll put some more weight. I'm looking, looking skinny, looking, uh, looking old Skeletor, not in a good way. Even the, even the missus was like, mate, where's that chest gone? Anyway, so they do this, and I'm like, she's chilling, she's fine. But I mean, like, yeah, I suppose I could do this. What is this? Is it a good intro? Like, I don't know, I kind of like it now. <laughs> Quite light, eh? Hey? feel it, which is good. I mean, she's, oh, yeah, she's moving. So I freak out, and then, oh, 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 anyway. Sav, say hi. Say hi. Hi. She's not keen. She's like, put me back, man. There you go, Sav. We have three Eastern Australian skink species living in harmoniously together. Cute. You know, I've never ever have had to buy any more white worms. You know why? Piece of glass. Looks like there's nothing in there. You can see a few worms, but all you have to do, standard white worm population, is just give them some bread. Glass back on there. All right, stay tuned. We'll come back to that one. Now, today, I'm going to give the skinks and 
maybe savannah, the blue tongue, see if they want some black soldier fly larvae. So these are live. They kind of, they stink, but you know what? Way better than mealworms, way better than waxworms from a nutritional perspective. Let's see if they go for them. It's a nice hot day. It's warm. This is a, you know, I suppose like a high protein day for them. You know, I give them their days off in between so they get their digestion days and they'll get days where they'll just eat basically salad fruit oh yum 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 so this this is the cheapest live insect food in this country by a mile all right let's see how they go with that hopefully they go for it oh it's a hot day it's sunny basket look at that oh yeah it's shy they're always in front of me but we'll see how they go they're right there so if i can just below them so this is legit how i have to watch my skinks eat they often don't or ever actually eat in front of me uh, i gave them some soldier fly larvae and they clearly weren't interested today they're just like nah man we don't want these wriggly delicious little worms we want our veggies we want our fruit so this is what i meant by you know you don't necessarily have to give these animals or reptiles insects every day especially omnivores they want vegetation they want fruit they want other things in their diet and today they showed no interest good weather is back oh, man Good with his back, so this is what I'm having prebiotic soda. These are quite nice to be fair. You know what? Just to fancy it up, some mint, mint leaves. So, this is the interesting thing about these animals is that they're omnivores, but they are they were more interested in the vegetarian, or should I say, yeah, vegetarian options, so grapes, carrots, and mescaline greens, than they were on the delicious live moving or the delicious black soldier fly larvae that were moving around, wriggling. Really interesting. So, you can tell, I mean, it just goes to show that some days they just feel like eating what they feel like eating and they don't necessarily like dead sap with both options in there a and b maybe they still would have gone for the vegetarian option uh just because that's what they felt like so that's the thing about these animals they're not just these vicious animals that just eat anything that moves i suppose you know they've got um they've got more to them than meets the eye all right let's see who's out and about i've got my macro lens on so i need to get nice and close to get some good oh look at that it's north and green gecko basking as per usual can't really see him heads down the other end oh i don't know there it is i don't know if you can see that all right who's out who else is out so it's a hot sunny day so i've got these one two three four five six big flies for the geckos and then i've got this little bundle of joy out of the fly trap for the tree frogs so let's get them in there eh? now obviously on hot days i'm gonna make the most of it especially it's not quite summer obviously there ain't as many flies as i would like it's uh oh look yeah see he's ready he's ready he's like come on man feed me northern green gecko so like I said, um, waiting for one more month and then the fly trap is going to be humming. Right now I'm just getting as many as I can every uh, every hot day, I suppose, whether it's in the afternoon or on the weekend. Sorry, just trying to get these in, all in here. There we go, just get them all in there, sprinkle them around and we're going to have fun with them. Whether it's the Royal Kawa or the Northern Greens, we'll see. Who's out? Who else is out? Only one at the stage. All right. You see, the issue for these flies is these geckos are just way too camouflaged. Hence that they just get so easily taken down by these amazing reptiles we have in this part of the world, endemic to New Zealand, the Northern Green Gecko. Absolutely stunning. Oh, and there he goes, over me. He's like, get out of it, mate. Mind your business. So it started to rain. Not really, just my mister. I do this three times a day on hot days for the geckos. Just make sure they get lots of moisture. Essentially, this is what they're gonna drink. This is the beauty of these enclosures is that the moths get in. I don't know if you can see it. They get in, but they can't get out. They get in, perfect gum food. Yeah, it's bulking season, man. Bulking season for everyone. Is this a meal? Yeah, look at me. Yum, 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 man. My protein, man. Summer's coming. Bulking. So I've just got to the gym for my first uh, session of the week. Monday, International Chest Day. I'll probably just do five sets of five. No, sorry. Five sets of 10 at 60 kilo. Just super light. That's normally my warm up, 60 kilo. But, you know, recovering from my AC joints. Surgery, got to take it easy. And then I'll do 100, 100 GHD setups. And that's just me for today. And then I'll do a functional session later tonight. Now, you know, I, I do these short sessions because I'm short and quick, minimal rest, 45 minutes in and out. And that's because I, I like to be really efficient with my time. It's funny, when I was younger, I used to spend like one and a half, two hours at the gym because A, you're working out with your mates, you're talking most of the time. Whereas now it's like, nope, time is precious. You get older, you've got more things in your life, more responsibilities. And there's things I'd rather be doing. Like I'd rather be home and doing things with the reptiles, etc., etc. So that's today. Do a functional fit session later tonight. Spike the heart rate. And I can do two sessions today. This is the journey to 85 kilos and I'm 78 currently, which is really annoying. I'm usually 
85, but that's what you get when you can't train and you're injured for uh, two, three months. And tomorrow I'll do a lower body day. So legs, Wednesday I'll swim for an active recovery. Thursday, I love doing a little steam and sauna. Thursday I will uh, probably do arms. And then Friday, I'm not too sure yet, maybe swim again. I just can't do anything too much on my shoulders. Weirdly enough, dumbbell press and bench press is those okay as long as I stay fairly light. It's still kind of, I think I'm getting there. It's been like eight weeks now. But yeah, taking it super easy, day by day, week by week. So that's my journey to 85 kilos. And just give you guys a bit more insight into my life, I suppose, and what other things that I do. It's not just all about reptiles, but this week's a big week of reptile keeping. It's getting hot, man. It's hot, hot in the weekend. Lots to do this week. Did all my meal prep for my reptiles and so my blue tongues, cutting ems. Did all the, and I'll show you that, guys. I'll show you guys that later. It's just basically portions of mescaline leaves, frozen berries that will be defrosted because that's what they love to eat. And, you know, every second or third day, they'll get that. Maybe some insects thrown in later in the week. We'll see, like you saw earlier right now they're not interested in the insects too much they're kind of having them like once a week and that depends even whether what it is but they're loving the greens they're loving the fruit they got some grapes yesterday so yeah we'll see rest of the week will be quite interesting you know what i'm doing i'm doing meal prep meal prep for my reptiles as well as myself so this is for myself risotto chicken the next few days man oh, makes it easier and also for the blue tongues and canadian skins it just makes life easy especially for animals where i can meal prep so what have we got? We've got these little Ziploc bags and the whole idea behind that is freezing them. So one day fresh, or one pack fresh for the next day, a couple days. So right now I'm only feeding them every second or third day. It's just basically, we're in spring now, but it's still cooler than the summer months. So they're kind of just easing into activity. They are eating, um, so I'm kind of giving them a few days. I mean, the blue tongue, Sav, she's gone back into sleep mode basically so she's like active and then inactive for a few days the cutting them skinks out every day so what are we doing we're doing mescaline greens and how i'm breaking this up is they get about four between 40 and 60 percent mescaline greens what their diet is made up of essentially they're omnivores they're going to get some frozen banana so i'm probably going to cut like this is for sab and dimple and dapple so my two cutting skinks and my blue tongue that should be plenty like four slices of banana and then they also get some berries in these mixes. Now I'm only making three bags because this is gonna cover the next like literally week and a half. There we go. Berries, mescaline greens, uh, banana. Oh, forgot one thing. I forgot the Acadia Revitalized D3. It's got all the full spectrum minerals with added vitamin A, D3, and E. So I'm gonna sprinkle that in there. Just sprinkle. Oh, don't put too much on that round. But anyway, zip that sucker up, get the air out, so give it a little push with a little bit of pocket open. Done, and then I'm just gonna shake that. Man, I should sell this to the old market if anyone wants to buy reptile frozen pre-made home cooked prepped meals. Anyway, that's it. That's one portion. So that goes in the freezer. Let's make two more portions. Now the reason why I'm doing this is A, it makes life easy when you have lots of animals. You know, obviously I'm a busy man, I've got things to do, so I can kind of make my life easier with prep. Same same thing with meal prep. You know, if you're Balkan, if you're a busy person, you're gonna prep all your meals for the week so that you just go in, take it out of the fridge or the freezer, boom. Don't have to cook every single night. Same with these guys. I mean, this is like day, we're on day two, it's Tuesday. So this one pack is for, I was lazy today and I just ripped out some dandelions and some pohoi leaves of the garden, which is great. And also give them stuff that grows in the garden as long as it's pesticide free. So that's what I gave them today. So day four, so Thursday, they'll get one of these packs and then day five, six off, then day seven, Sunday, I'll give them another one of these packs and the last third pack will be into next week. But they might, depending on their activity, they'll get some insects in between them, possibly as a little treaty, maybe some black soldier fly larvae, or maybe I'll throw it into their, into their bowl with one of these packs. It just depends. So same again, mescaline leaves, 40, 50%, banana, a small handful of berries, and this powder, boom. And the, and the whole purpose of the powder is, just like you would dust your insects, you dust this, so that they're getting everything they can. It's fantastic for them. All right, portion two, done. Last portion, and to be fair, I could go crazy. I could do this for the next like two weeks or for the next month, just because once you freeze it, it's good. You just defrost it when you need to, and it's all good. It's got all the minerals, and you've got to salvage the greens for as long as you can by freezing them. And that's the thing with mescaline and greens, eh? If you just keep buying bag after bag each week, it gets a, it gets expensive, um, and greens don't last that long if you don't freeze them as well. All right, third pack, banana. Yeah, this is what I love about having these kinds of animals, omnivores, you can do this, you can pre-make their meals. Aligned with, you know, my values of Balkan training, pre-made meals, and do both at the same time. They're feeding a lot of mouths within one portion of cooking and meal prep, there we go. Third, so we got one, two, 
three. That's the next three meals done. And I've also fed myself. One, two, three, done. All right, that's it. Team meal prep for lizards. You can, you can meal prep for reptiles. If you didn't know, now you know. I'm sure everyone's doing it around the world. As you can see, Look at that blue tongue. Awesome animal. So when they're, obviously the, like the whole point of the blue tongue is to scare predators away. So what you'll see in the wild is if you're in Australia or even in like an aggressive animal in captivity, they'll kind of back up, they'll puff up, they'll puff out their body, they'll make themselves look a lot bigger. And then they'll show off that blue tongue. So they open up their mouth as large as they can and they get that uh, tongue out. And it's supposed to be scary, but no, nah, cool, they're really, really cool animals. I like it. It's the biggest, one of the biggest animals you can get from a reptile perspective uh, in New Zealand. Really docile as well. I mean, we've got water dragons, which get large, but you can't really handle them. Not like this. I mean, these guys are almost like leopard geckos. They're just like super, super friendly, um, super easy to handle, real like docile. And they hibernate all winter, which is fantastic. Like I've said in uh, many videos, makes life easier. She's got a bit of scarring. I have talked about that in a previous video. Um, unfortunately, some breeding antics. It's just the nature of it. The male locks on to the back of the neck to secure the female in place, basically. Sounds rather aggressive, but that's the animal kingdom for you. Incredible animal, blue tongue. So you know how the magic happens with that bread? Look at this. So I lift it up and look at all that. They all come centralized to one area. They're very easy for collection, white worms. I've never had to get any more. This is just how I culture them. Soil, bread, piece of glass, just keep the soil damp and a dark place. Too easy. So to put on 85 kilos or to get it back to 85 from about 79 kilos, I had to eat 3,500 uh, calories of food a day and drink like three liters of water. Do you know how hard it is to do both? Oh my goodness. So I measured out some food, I've done my meal prep. It's a lot of food and if anyone's interested, they can ask what I eat in a day, but Basically, it's a lot of meals, a lot of calorie dense meals, and you can be like efficient with your meals. You can, for example, I've just got Sav, hold seven on block, chilling with me in the kitchen while I do some meal prep, some more meal prep, or getting food ready. It's, uh, and, I, and if anyone's interested, I can say, but it's a lot of food, and you can be quite efficient with the calories. You can, for example, make really calorie dense meals. For example, this morning, my first meal of the day was one cup of oats with peanut butter, berries, banana, orange, yogurt, and that was like 800 calories. So 3,500 sounds like a lot, um, but you can make it up a bit throughout the day. The hardest part was actually the water, the water consumption. And this is a blue tongue skink for those that don't know. Eastern blue tongue skink, so native to Australia. There are blue tongue skink species in other parts of the world, like Indonesia, for example. But this is an eastern blue tongue from the east coast of Australia, and it's an exotic pet here in New Zealand. Anyway, this is Sav, Savannah, or Savignon Block. Got her recently, adopted her at this age. She's about four years old. She's actually birthed young, so she is a proven breeder. She's got a lot of what we'll call here scarring from breeding, and I hope she's not. I've only got her recently in the last like week. I hope she's not grabbed because apparently the male had some moments, but they got these awesome blue tongues, as you can see. I wonder if she's thirsty. Try to give some water. What can I use this? Yeah, this, I suppose. What was I saying? The hardest part was definitely water. Three and a half, oh sorry, three liters of water a day is a lot of water. Like, and I have these drink bottles at work, they're like 650 mils, and I might, like, I get my goal of drinking two of those during my day job, or during, the, which is an office job, which is fine, I can do that, especially an office job, but now I'm like, I need to drink like three of those, 1.5, and then have 1.5 liters to the rest of the day, especially when you're exercising, you need more water. But yeah, three liters, three liters of water a day, it's a lot of water, man. A lot of water. Get this girl back out. So you know what, after this week, I mean, it's Wednesday tonight, did my session on Monday, and I've got DOMS, Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness, my titties are so fucking sore, man, honestly, after just 60 kilo bench press, unbelievable, so I'm just having a look to see if we can see any of the uh, Royal Kawas out, it's a fairly warm evening, I saw one the other night, and I thought I'd try to get them on camera for you, but we'll keep looking, I'll do a whole little segment on it, but let's have a look, anything, oh, yeah, there we go, I don't know, oh, okay, alright, I can get one on camera for you guys, I'm excited, alright, and it's tunnel. Let's have a look. Eee. I don't know who that is. I don't think it's Stumpmeister, but let's see if I can get a clear image. Here we go. Probably, out, probably ready to come out and venture, and venture up for the night. Put nectar around the enclosure, so and there's um there are some flies still in here, so I better be quick. Anyway, Rokawa, heavily nocturnal, heavily. And then we'll go check out the frost gecko. So anyway, like I said, man, struggling. Body is so sore, but that's what you get when you're pumping, man. You get a burn for that pump. Balkan, Balkan season. Yeah, legs, arms, everything. Everything hurts. So we gotta eat a lot of food. A lot of water, a lot of food. Get those nutrients around the body. All right, who is out? Who is out? All right, so for this episode wrap up, I'm gonna leave you with a whistling tree frog. Just sitting there, getting ready to croak all night and annoy the shit out of me. Stay tuned.